When he was saying, oh, ye of little faith, he was not talking about the size of his faith. He was talking about how long he let his faith work. You ain't caught that. How long will you let that measure work? He was operating on the measure of faith, but when he said, oh, ye of little faith, he wasn't talking about the size of his faith. He was talking about how long he lets his faith last. Oh, ye of little faith. Other words, you had to measure, but you couldn't go long with it. Oh, glory to God. You couldn't take it a long span. You couldn't take that measure and keep going with it. You could only take it and it only could go a little faith. See, he wanted, as long as he was walking, he was operating in the measure of faith. And when he got out of the, the measure of faith, he became, oh, you, of little time in your faith. Oh. <laughs> Other words, it wasn't the size of it. It was how long he let it work. It was how long he let the thing work. How many people start out saying, I believe. They start out going big time. I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe. I can walk on water. And Jesus was not talking about that his measure that he gave him wasn't enough. He said, what happened, man, is that when you got started, amen, you didn't keep on going. Somewhere, out, somewhere down the line, when you started seeing the trouble, you stopped. You saw the wind. You got your eyes off of me. You no longer was trusting me. Now you begin to sink. What happened was that measure became a little. How long are you willing to go to see the end? Are you hearing me today? It's not. How many of you thought it was just a little pebble? He was talking about, oh, you of little faith. And you thought he was talking. Well, how would that make any sense if he said you had faith of a grain of a mustard seed? That's little, but it's not, it, you, oh, yes. You, it only takes a pebble of your faith to knock out every demon, to knock out every sickness, to knock out every disease. Anything you need is in the measure. I give every man a measure of faith, but now what he has to do? He has to hear the word to keep it. He starts off giving you a measure of faith. Then he said, now hear my word and hear my word. So what? So you don't lose the measure. So faith doesn't increase. All it does, it, you have already got faith. When, listen, oh, people are trying to get an increase. What did, what did, the, what the disciples say? Lord, increase our faith. He said, look, if you have faith, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this sick of mine tree. How many got a tree? I'm sick of my tree. Anybody got a sick of mine tree? I want something on that tree. <laughs> and it can be rooted up and cast. Now, you have faith. Touch somebody. Touch them right now and say, you got faith. You got it at conversion. When you accepted Christ in the cross into your life, faith came with that. Now, when you hear the word, when you hear the word, it strengthens you. It keeps it. I start you off with something. Now it's up to you to keep it. I'm going to tell you how you keep it. You keep it by hearing the word. I give you a car, but you got to keep some gas in it. Are you hearing me? Too many people want God to do everything for them. No, your job is to stay in the word. 